We're here today to talk about the three basic shots that you need to have in your short game. The chip shot, the pitch shot, and the flop shot. For the chip shot, I'm about five feet off the edge of the green here. I've selected my pitching wedge, which is 46 degrees of loft. That gives me enough loft to be able to elevate the ball onto the green, but not too much loft so I won't get any roll. So what I'm trying to do here is execute a shot that lands three or four feet over the edge of the green and then rolls the way to the hole. So when you set up for your chip shot, you want to make sure you have the ball positioned just inside of your right foot. You want to have a very narrow stance, about the width of your club head. When you place the club behind the ball, go ahead and put most of the weight on your left foot. Make sure your hands are located near the bottom of the grip so that your hands are also set in front of the club head. From here, I'm going to make a very simple stroke, a very shallow stroke, just bumping the ball so it rolls onto the green. The best time to use a pitch shot is when your ball is a little bit further away from the green. From this position, what we need to do is we need to elevate the ball a little bit further into the air, but I don't have as much room for it to roll out. So here I've selected a little bit lower loft to my club. I have a 52 degree wedge. To set up properly, you want to get a stance that's pretty narrow, not quite as narrow as the chip shot, so my feet are about the width of my hips. When I set up, I want to place the ball so the ball position is pretty much in the center of my stance because I'm trying to utilize all the loft that's on the golf club. I want to keep my hands pretty much over the golf ball. And from here, I'm going to have a little bit more wrist hinge than I did with a chip shot. The flop shot can be a crucial shot to have in your bag. It's a high risk shot, but there are three keys to executing it properly. What you need to know, you need to have a lot of speed, a lot of loft, and a lot of confidence. In this particular situation, what I need to do is I need to get this ball elevated really high into the air so it can stop quickly on the green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my 58 degree wedge. It has a lot of loft on there. I'm going to set up with a very open stance. My feet are aiming well left of my target. At the same time, I'm going to take my club head and open it up like I'm in the bunker. From here, I want to make a full swing and creating a lot of speed by hinging my hands. 